Pandit Bhimsan Gururaj Joshi Pronunciation, 4 February 1922 – 24 January 2011 was a legendary Indian vocalist from Maharashtra in the Hindustani classical tradition. He is known for the kale form of singing, as well as for his popular renditions of devotional music In 1998, he was awarded the Sangeet Natak Akademi Fellowship, the highest honour conferred by Sangeet Natak Akademi, India's National Academy for Music, Dance and Drama. Subsequently, he received the Bharat Ratna, India's highest civilian honour, in 2009. Early life P. T. Bimson Gururaj Joshi was born in a Dashastha Madhwa Brahmin family in a town called Ran, Karnataka, in the Gadig district of present-day Karnataka state on 4 February 1922 to Gururaj Joshi a Kannada English dictionary and Ramabai, a homemaker. Bimson was the eldest among 16 siblings. He lost his mother at a young age and was raised by his stepmother. As a child, Bimson was fascinated with music and musical instruments like the harmonium and tanpura and would often follow processions accompanied by music bands. This exercise often tired him and he would curl up somewhere and sleep, forcing his parents to go to the police after efforts to trace him failed. Fed up, his father Gururajacharya Joshi came up with the solution, writing, Son of Teacher Joshi, on Bimson's shirts. This worked and those who found the boy sleeping would safely deposit him back to his house. Musical training His first music teacher was Chanapa of Kurtakoti, who had trained with the veteran singer Anayat Khan. After learning ragas by Rav and Bimpalasi, the one and only unique vigorous style of rendering he Developed along with advanced trainings by other teachers is attributed to the basic training he received from Chanapa. Bimson Joshi next went to Pandit Shaimasharya Joshi, who hailed from Bagalkot and was a priest and classical singer. Pandit Shaimasharya taught him to sing as well as play the harmonium. Sri Shamacharya Joshi was a descendant of great Haridasa Sri Mahipati Dasaru. As revealed by Sri Shaimasharya Joshi himself when he was alive, it was a turning point in Bimson Joshi's life that Sri Shaimasharya Joshi went to Bombay for recording his songs by HMV where Sri Bimson Joshi also accompanied him and due to ill health Sri Shaimasharya Joshi returned to Bagalkot after recording few songs and asked Sri Bimson Joshi to render rest of the songs which Sri Bimson Joshi did and this proved to be a major breakthrough for Sri Bimson Joshi in the initial stage of his career. Search for a guru Joshi heard a recording of Abdul Karim Khan's Thumri Pia bin Nahi Aavat chain, in Raga Jinoti when he was a child, which inspired him to become a musician. During this time, he also heard Pandit Sawai Gandharva at a performance in Kungal. In 1933, the 11-year-old Joshi left Darwad for Bijapur to find a master and learn music. With the help of money lent by his co-passengers in the train, Bimson reached Darwad first and later went to Pune. Later he moved to Gwalior and got into Madhava Music School, a school run by Maharajas of Gwalior, with the help of famous Sarad player Hafiz Ali Khan. He travelled for three years around North India, including in Delhi, Kolkata, Gwalior, Lucknow and Rampur, trying to find a good guru. Eventually, his father succeeded in tracking him down in Jalandhar and brought young Bimson back home. Sawai Gandharva In 1936, Sawai Gandharva, a native of Darwad, agreed to be his guru. Joshi stayed at his house in the Guru Shisha teacher -student tradition. Joshi continued his training with Sawai Gandharva. Career <laughs> <laughs> Joshi first performed live in 1941 at the age of 19. His debut album, containing a few devotional songs in Marathi and Hindi, was released by HMV the next year in 1942. Later Joshi moved to Mumbai in 1943 and worked as a radio artist. 
His performance at a concert in 1946 to celebrate his guru Sawai Gandharva's 60th birthday won him accolades both from the audience and his guru. <laughs> Hindustani classical music Joshi's performances have been acknowledged by music critics such as S. N. Chandrasekhar of the Deccan Herald to be marked by spontaneity, accurate notes, dizzyingly paced tones which make use of his exceptional voice training, and a mastery over rhythm. The Hindu, in an article written after he was awarded the Bharat Ratna, said, Bhimsan Joshi was ever the wanderer, engendering brilliant phrases and tans more intuitively than through deliberation. Joshi occasionally employed the use of sargam and tihais, and often sang traditional compositions of the Karana Garana. His music often injected surprising and sudden turns of phrase, for example through the unexpected use of boltons. Over the years, his repertoire tended to favor a relatively small number of complex and serious ragas, however, he remained one of the most prolific exponents of Hindustani classical music. Some of Joshi's more popular ragas include Shuddha Kalyan, Mian Ki Todi, Pariah Dhanashri, Multani, Bimpalasi, Darbari, and Ramkali. He was a purist who has not dabbled in experimental forms of music, except for a series of Jagalbandi recordings with the Carnatic singer M. Balamurali Krishna. Joshi's singing has been influenced by many musicians, including S.M.T. Kesarbai Kirkar, Begum Akhtar and Ostad Amir Khan. Joshi assimilated into his own singing various elements that he liked in different musical styles and gharanas. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Devotional music. In devotional music, Joshi was most acclaimed for his Hindi and Marathi bhajan singing. He has recorded bhakti songs in Marathi, Santavani, Dasavani. Topic. Patriotic music P. T. Bimson Joshi was widely recognized in India due to his performance in the Mile Sir Mara Tumara music video 1988, which begins with him. The video was created for the purpose of national integration in India, and highlights the diversity of Indian culture. P. T. Bimson Joshi was also a part of Jana Gana Mana produced by A. R. Rahman on the occasion of the 50th year of Indian Republic. Topic. Playback singing Joshi sang for several films, including Basant Bihar 1956 with Mana Day, in Marathi movie, Swayamvar Zail Sitesh 1964 for famous song, Ramya Hai Swargahan Lanka, in Kannada movie Sandhya Raga 1966 where he has sung extensively. It includes a song, E Pariya Sobagu. Rendered in both Hindustani and Carnatic Karnataka Shastriya Sangeetha styles along with M. Balamurali Krishna. He sang Burble My Brother 1973 with Pandit Jasraj. He also sang for the Bengali film Tansen 1958 and Bollywood movie Ankahi 1985 which later fetched him National Film Award for Best Male Playback Singer. His song, Bhagyadalakshmi Bharama, a Parandara Dasa composition, was used by Anant Nag and Shankar Nag in the Kannada film Nodi Swami Naavu Iradu Hij. He also sang as a playback singer for the Marathi film Gulacha Ganapati, produced and directed by P. L. Deshpand. Sawai <laughs> Gandharva Music Festival Joshi and his friend Vasantrao Deshpande organized the Sawai Gandharva Music Festival as homage to his guru, Sawai Gandharva, along with the Arya Sangeet Prasarak Mandal in 1953, marking Gandharva's first death anniversary. The festival has been held ever since, typically on the second weekend of December in Pune, Maharashtra and has become not only a cultural event for the city, but an annual pilgrimage for Hindustani classical music lovers all over the world. Joshi conducted the festival annually since 1953, until his retirement in 2002. <inaudible> Legacy A classicist by training and temperament, Bimson Joshi was renowned for having evolved an approach that sought to achieve a balance between what may be termed as traditional values and mass culture tastes 
and as such he went on to have supposedly the largest commercially recorded repertoire in Hindustani vocal music. P.T. Joshi's iconic status in the music world has earned him a whole generation of Sunni shaggards who by merely listening to him have picked up his style and not through any formal tutelage. His greatest endeavor in perpetuating his legacy could be the Sawai Gandharvie festival held at Pune annually since the year 1953 which seeks to promote a certain music culture. Madhav Gudi, Narayan Deshpande, Shrikant Deshpande, Anand Bait and others are some of his more well-known disciples. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Personal life. Bimson married twice. His first wife was Sunanda Kadi, the daughter of his maternal uncle, whom he married in 1944. He had four children from Sunanda, Raghavendra, Usha, Sumangala, and Anand. In 1951, he married Vatsala Mudholkar, his co-actor in the Kannada play Bhagya Shri. Bigamous marriages among Hindus were prohibited by law in the Bombay Presidency, so he took up residency in Nagpur capital of Central Province and Barar in 1951 where bigamy was allowed and married there for the second time. He did not divorce or separate from Sunanda. With Vatsala, he had three children, Jayant, Shubhata, and Srinivas Joshi. Initially, both his wives and families lived together, but when this did not work out, his first wife moved out with the family to live in a rented house in Limayawadi in Sadashiv Peth, Pune, where Bimson continued to visit them. Discography Illness and death Joshi was admitted to Sayadri Super Speciality Hospital on 31 December 2010 with gastrointestinal bleeding and bilateral pneumonia. Due to difficulty in breathing, he was put on ventilator support. He suffered convulsions and was put on dialysis too during his stay in hospital. Though he recovered briefly for three days when he was taken off the ventilator, his condition deteriorated thereafter. He died on 24 January 2011. He was cremated at Vaikunth Crematorium in Pune with full state honours. <inaudible> <inaudible> Awards and recognitions 1972 Padma Shri 1976 Sangeet Natak Akademi Award 1985 Padma Bhushan 1985 National Film Award for Best Male Playback Singer 1986. First Platinum Disc 1999 Padma Vibhushan 2000. Aditya Vikram Birla Kalashikar Paraskar 2002 Maharashtra Bhushan 2003. Swati Sangeetha Paraskaram by Government of Kerala 2005 Karnataka Ratna by Government of Karnataka 2008 Bharat Ratna 2008 Swami Haridas Award 2009 Lifetime Achievement Award by Delhi Government 2010 S. V. Narayana Swami Rao National Award by Rama Siva Mandali, Bangalore 2017 Bharatratna Pandit Bhimson Joshi Hospital by Mira Bayandar Municipal Corporation, Bayandar West. <laughs> 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 <laugh